Let's talk how to trade safely and grow your account. Now, right off the get-go, I wanna be just very upfront here that a great way to grow your account is to not lose what you already have, right? A penny saved is a penny earned. And depending on where you're at in your journey, if you have even really just a little bit of experience, if you're anything like me, I'm sure you've been there where you've had gains, you've made money, and then something happens, you get greedy, you get stupid, and then all of a sudden, hey, where did my gains go? And, and that's not how you're gonna grow your account, right? Part of growing your account is holding on to the gains that you already have. So I wanna get that, that's what I mean by grow your account. Part of growing is playing defense and is playing it safe. And what I wanna do here is just walk you through a step-by-step -step process that you can go through too in your trading that's gonna keep you safe, that's gonna help you hold on to your gains and then by default, help you grow your account over the long haul. Now, I've already actually gone through this example in one of my live trading videos from a few weeks ago, but in that video, because those are live, I'm just kind of quickly going through things and I can totally understand, especially if you're a beginner just getting started, we're like, whoa, whoa what? Wait, wait, why, why did you, wait, 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 hey, so what? I, I get it, so I wanna revisit that and just go through all this, like I said, on the chalkboard, step by step, and then I'll also show you the trade that actually played out, so that way you can see what I take from here, the step-by-step -step process that I would highly encourage you to do, and then see how it really translated into the real, real world of trading. So first off, before anything else, this is how to play things safe, right? You grow your account by protecting. You play it safe by protecting the gains that you've already made. So in that situation, obviously, you actually need some gains. Now, in this situation, and actually, I'll put a screenshot down below. Uh, so if you're at claytrader.com, down below the video, I'll put a screenshot of this month so you can see where I was at at that point in time. But at this point, my gains for the month were 5,244. So those are my gains. And the next part is, uh, I guess the like, first part, you have to have some gains, right? And I should also note that this could be for any time period. That You could be doing this at an end of the day, right? You have gains at the end of the day, but maybe you wanna make one more trade. Maybe you have gains at the end of the week and you wanna make, you know what? I'm going to the last day of the week, it's Friday. You could apply it here. In my situation, it was the last day of the month. So for me, it was the situation of, I have my gains for the month and now I need to play it safe, right? I wanna to continue to grow my account by maintaining and protecting some of the gains that I already have. So for me, this was at the end of the month, but the question, whether it be at the end of the day, the end of the week, the end of the month becomes, well, you know what? You're what I'll call your I want factor. Meaning, well, how much do you actually want? Minimum, that will make you happy. That won't make you insane. That won't make you think you screwed up. That'll just keep you a peace of mind. So for example, if it's on a Friday, what, what number do you want? That'll keep you happy all weekend long, right? That, yeah, you know, I, I took a loss, but you know, I still made what I wanted. So who cares that I took a loss on that last trade of, on Friday? Because I still made what I want. So you need to have your want number. And for me, my want number was, you know what? I wanted to close the month with at least $5,000. And the $5,000 was coming from, for me, that would imply that I grew my account uh, right around the 10% mark. And then because I usually trade only 30 minutes on average a day, and then you do the math, that would have broken down to about $500 per hour of my time that I did with trading. So that's where that number comes from for me. So after you have your gains and you have your I want number, very straightforward. All you're gonna do, subtract them out. And whatever that number is in this situation, the number was 244. And in this situation, I now know how much I could lose that last day of the month. I can only lose $244. But there's also sometimes things get a little crazy, things can get a little, whoa, I didn't see that coming. So I always like to kind of bake in a little air fact or you know, a little wiggle room there. So for me, I didn't say 244, I said, you know what? Let's just make this $200, right? That way if something goes crazy and it ends up cost me $220, for example, well, at least I'm still overall above that $5,000 mark. So for me, it was $200. And that's telling me how much I could lose at, at max in a trade. So eventually I went and found, and you're gonna see this trade, but I found ticker symbol NIO. And based on the setup, based on what I was seeing via the technical chart, I knew that, you know what, if I'm wrong, I'm going to lose. So how do I know? That's supposed to be a minus. Let's just, let's do it this way. I knew that if I was wrong, I might lose 50 cents per share. So 50 cents per share, if I'm wrong, that is what I would lose. So the question now becomes, okay, well, how many shares should I be taking? 
Should I be taking a thousand share position? Hopefully you're saying, well, no, Clay, that's not, that would be bad because if you have 1,000 shares and you just said that you could lose 50 cents per share, that would be $500 that you just lost on that trade. But your number was only $200. So that, that would be $300 over what you wanted. I exactly, very good. What happens if I told you 500 shares? Well, again, if you're doing the math, you think, okay, well, if Clay, if you think you could, you, if you wanted to do 500 shares, but you know your loss could potentially be 50 cents per share, well, that would still be a loss of $250, which again, that 250 is larger than $200. So again, in this situation, no, I can't do 500 shares. What about 300 shares? Well, 300 shares, you multiply that by 50 cents, and that would equal what? Well, that would equal 150. Ah, okay, so this one would actually be approved because 150 is less than 200. For me though, I chose 200 shares. I could have, I, I could have, I, in hindsight, I should have done 300 because spoiler alert, the trade works out nicely, but I could have done the 300 shares or 300 shares, but I just went with 200 shares. And again, 200 shares, why? Well, because if I did 200 shares and if I was wrong and if it cost me 50 cents per share, well, that would have been $100 loss and not to insult your intelligence, but 100 is less than 200. So again, that was, approved. But do you see how by working backwards, you can all of a sudden determine your position size? And that's what gets a lot of people is the whole money management side of things where they, they overlook, they take too big of a size of a position and they're not factoring in the, well, what if I'm wrong? And then you combine that with the position size and before they know it, oh, I, I didn't protect my profits. I'm not trading safely. Like I just gave things away. I give way too much away. I mean, when I was new, I just gave away all my gains, right? You, you're on a streak, you're on a streak, you're on a streak, and then one trade. Where'd all my profits go, you know? I, maybe, maybe I'm the only person that's been there, but uh, if you've been there, then you can definitely relate. So that is why when you see the trade on NIO, you'll see that I have 200 shares, but this is the exact reasoning behind how I arrived at that number. And this is what I would really, really encourage you to do. And again, it doesn't have to be at the end of a month. It could be at the end of a day. Could, I mean, really, you could do this whenever. Because if you have gains, and then you can start to, okay, I'm at gains, and I wanna at least have, and then you just go through all that. So I don't wanna make it seem like it's, you can only do this method if it's at the end of a day, or at the end of a week, or at the end of a month. Really, if you make a, a first profitable trade, and you make 500 bucks, and then you know you wanna make several trades after that, well now at least you know for trade number two, that when you apply whatever that is, you can still figure out whatever your position size should be, from going that point forward. So now let's move from the blackboard. You'll see how I arrived at that 200 share size and I'll show you how the actual trade played out. I like this a lot, 53. Stop will be up around 53.50. So even if I'm wrong, about a hundred dollar loss, which is fine by me. It's working its way down around that area. So I want to wait for confirmation, more so 53.15. If that falls and I'm going to hit, then I'll hop in here. Well, no, I can't now. Let's see it push up some more. Good. 53.25 now. Yep. Let's see if 53.25 can come into play. Or maybe this is a, a truly strong bounce and this thing's just gonna keep on grinding higher and higher. Which is why waiting for confirmation is always uh, a wise move. 53.35 now will be my entry point. If it even comes into play again, like I said. Oh, making a way down. It's definitely strong. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now. And wow, SPY is just getting destroyed right now. And yet this one's bouncing upwards. Look at this SPY right now, woo. 
And yet this one continues to grind higher and higher. So this one doesn't apparently care what's really gone. 53.35 though. In there at 53.47. Stop will be up over 54. So let's see what it wants to do here. Again, in 200 shares. This thing either wants to continue to bounce upwards or it wants to roll over here. I love the RVR. I can't even think about taking profits until it gets down to at least 53. But like I said, I, this thing's either gonna roll back over or it's gonna keep on grinding higher. And if it does, then I'm looking at, you know, give or take $100 loss. So that's the choice right now. It, it's quite simple. I'm either right that this thing wants to roll back over here or I'm wrong and this thing just wants to keep on grinding higher and higher. And you know, that's just uh, kind of the way the cookie will crumble. But I love the setup, nice risk first reward and not just a, a matter of, am I right or am I wrong? And I'm not gonna sit here and, and expect you to wait to see the every tick by tick. So I'll just go ahead and pause and if it looks like I'm gonna be able to pull off some profits or if it looks like it's going to uh, stop me out, then I'll get the video rolling. But yeah, right now it's just totally in decision making mode. All right, well, there we go. Kind of, and bounce right off the VWAP. So yeah, 53.25 looking like it's gonna be that key level that'll need to break down through. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause, but I'll keep you updated. All right, it's moving down. Like I said, my profit target area is at 53. So it's getting close to my profit target area. Can it hit it? That's the question. Oh, so close. There we go. Fantastic. So I got out a portion of my shares. I'd like to see this thing get some more momentum to the downside. If it could get down in the, there we go. Get down through these 5290s though. Yeah, 5290, hidden buyer in there right now. There we go. Took out another 50 shares right there. And now this is gonna be could this thing really get down to fifty two fifty on this push? Looks like it's got a chance, but it sure is getting overextended. You know what, let's just live let's just live a little merry life here. So now worst case it's a winning trade no matter what, because I will stop out of my final shares. In fact, let me do this, stop. 53, 16. So now absolute worst case scenario, I'm making money on the trade because even if I get stopped out, all right, let me move this down here. So now it's, this is the best spot to be in. All I'm doing is moving down my stop. So quite literally the worst possible thing that could happen right now is I make money by getting out. So I mean, when it comes to stress-free trading, this is what, but, but it was already stress-free trading in the first place. How? Because I knew what I was comfortable losing. I knew what would keep me fine, keep me happy on the month. And wow, did that make just sitting through that trade more than easy. Remember at the beginning, there was some patience required. I needed to sit there, wait to see what was gonna happen. All right, now it's bouncing up. Again, if it go, goes up over 53, I'll be out. But I needed to sit there. Okay, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna roll back over? Well, and you know, there, there's, there's unknowns there. But it was easy, super easy to just sit through there, be patient. Why? Because I was totally, totally okay with the amount I was gonna lose if I was wrong. And, like, like, and I'm stopped out there. So there we are, made $107.00. And, and then this is the voice that always shows up because it's showing up right now. Clay, you idiot. 
why don't you just do 500 shares? If you had done 500 shares, that number would be so much bigger and you'd have, a, you'd have such a cool YouTube video right now, Clay. And that's true. Had I gone bigger, you're right. That number would have been much bigger than what it was. Had, but I only went 200 shares. But you know what? That's because I was right. Had I been wrong, what would I be sitting here saying? Oh, Clay, good thing you only did 200 shares. Good job, buddy. But that was not the uh, that was you know that that was not the plan going in, and that right there is how you protect your profits. You go in and you do you play a little defensive, and you play defensive. And if you're right, like I was here, you're gonna make money, but not as much money. But you got to remember, you can't let that voice show up. Oh, Clay, if you had just gone bigger size, you would have made so much more money. Don't listen to that because you got to remember your game plan going in. And you know my game plan. I spent probably about seven minutes or so explaining that. And that's everything that played out here. So, I mean, it's just another nice hundred. I mean, and let's also be honest. It's uh, I got out of that trade at 942. So let's just call it 943 to make the math easy. So 13 minutes, I made $107. Where in the world can you make even $100 per hour, let alone $107 in 15 minutes? So when you when you twist it like that, yeah, that's still a respectable gain. But you know what? Like I said, it's the end of the month and I got a bunch of other stuff I want to do today. So I just need to move on regardless. But yeah, as far as how to protect your profits, whether that be at the end of a day. and So for example, right now, if I want to keep on trading, now how much can I lose? Well, now I can lose what? $300, right? Because if I could only lose $200 going in, but now I'm up $100, we'll factor in commissions. Now I can, if I wanted to keep trading, at least now I know the mo most I could lose is $300. So there's all ways you could do it, but you always gotta be asking yourself, if I'm wrong, how much is it gonna cost me and am, am I okay with that amount? So in terms of how do you protect your profits, this is how you do it. Now, before you go though, few things. First off, if you enjoy these live trade videos, and especially if you like how I kind of built in a, a learning lesson at the beginning, then a very quick, easy way to communicate that to me, just hit that like button or a comment down below, even better, even if it's just a thanks, Clay, a thumbs up emoji, a smile emoji, any comment, comments and likes, really go a long way because these live trade videos, they're not the easiest to make. I have to talk. I have to make alerts in the chat room. I have to, you know, think for myself. I have to, you know, there's a lot going on. So it's not, it's totally doable. It's just not easy. But like I said, if you, you know, enjoy these and want me to keep making them, then just please communicate that to me and nothing drastic, just either a like, like or better yet, the like comment combo. Even if the comment is just a thumbs up, Fantastic, that goes a long way. And then check out the rest of the channel, lots of videos. Hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, this is how you protect your profits. Kind of go in with a negative attitude. If I'm wrong, how much am I gonna lose? And then from there, as you saw, you can adjust everything from that point forward. But yeah, hopefully this helps and uh, hopefully you all had a great November. So yeah, I actually, I mean, this sounds kind of cocky, but I, I nailed it, that was great. I was right, the thing rolled back over. And then of course, the voice that always shows up is, Oh, Clay, you should have done 1,000 shares. You should have done 500 shares. But remember, what was the goal going in? The goal was to trade safe. The goal was to protect your profits. So just because, I mean, yes, in hindsight, I should have done 10,000 shares. That would have been fantastic. But at the time, when you don't have hindsight, what if I was wrong, which is a possibility, which is a possibility for you. Nobody's ever gonna be right all the time. That's just not possible in the world of trading. But when you are into this defensive mindset and you're looking to trade safe, because again, you understand that by trading safe, that you are gonna grow your account over the long haul by protecting profits, then you know when that voice shows up, it makes it easier to just say, yeah, I know, I coulda, shoulda, woulda, but at the point when I was putting together the trade plan, I didn't know that I was gonna be you know, that right. But this is how you are gonna trade safe. This is how you are gonna grow your account over the long term, is by acknowledging these numbers, and that main number is the I want. How much do you want? And then from there, as you see here, everything will bleed together and it can lead you right to what your position size should be on any trade that you're about to make. If you found this video helpful, a couple of things from me real quick. First off, quick, quick, easy way to communicate that you want me to keep making videos like this, hit that like button. Better yet, a quick little comment below, even if it's just a thumbs up emoji, a smiley face emoji, little comments like that go a long way and just saying, yeah, Clay, I'm enjoying these videos, keep, please keep making them. Also check out the channel as a whole. There's a good variety of videos. There's, uh, if you like the live trade section on, of this video, there's an entire playlist of all live trade videos so you can go watch more of those. But hopefully you decide to ultimately hit that subscribe button as well, I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. But yeah, get out there, go through this process, trade safe and grow your account. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, 
I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.